get a front row seat, I see the IAA and the FIB. The city looks at these two buildings like pillars, these two powerful buildings standing by each other. But the truth is, they stand across from each other. That's crazy. Where is your girlfriend? I'm starting to miss her staring a hole into me. She took Maha out to pick out a bed and dresser and whatever girls put in their room. Good. You do listen. To a certain extent. I was told you were taking me to the laundromat. I am, but I have a question. What is that, Mayan? How do you know Lanel? <laughs> Who's driving? You or me? There's the boss. Sometimes I wonder if the world is balanced at all, with everything I've seen, with everything I've known. I wonder why some people have it harder than others. I see some people that are supposed to be fancy, and I say, what's so fancy about ignoring a begging mame who needs money, or a little girl who needs a home? You know, I'm scared of dragons. I am. But they make the rich feel so uncomfortable. They make people have to get a sense of reality. They show these rich assholes that they don't run the world, and I like it. That's why she kept the phone records from us. Exactly, boss. In her previous employer she worked for down at the treasury, said she left an hour before her husband was killed. So nobody to vouch for her whereabouts. Do you think she's the dragon? I don't think so. She's gotten angry with me plenty of times and I'm unburned. Well, pick her up. We have enough to charge her here. See if she cracks. We're winning, boss. You damn straight we are. My ex-husband was doing more than cooking cocaine for the U.S. government. In fact, he never was in on the drug trafficking. What exactly did they have him doing? Well, he did human trafficking, extortion, illegal activities for Russia, China, and the U.S. Very disturbing and disgusting things he found great pleasure in. Those things were not offered to him. He... He volunteered. Well, this is the laundromat for illegal funds. Making dirty money clean so it can be used without detection. So banks won't think twice. Although this is a small island, Travis, there are still heroes on this island looking to bring justice with flexibility to bend the rules. These people will arrest or execute you, so you have to move even more carefully than you would in other countries. The local police and FIB are searching for a magnitude of things, cocaine being one of them, so you're already on their radar. I want nothing to do with the cocaine or the drugs. Don't bring the shit to me or my office. You're just renting my spaces, paying for my silence, and receiving a heads up on anything I see in the inside. I never had my own bed before. I used to sleep on my aunt's wood floor with a sleeping bag. And look, I got my own mirror with the lights on it. I look like such a loser, though. A ponytail? It's a practical choice for a girl like me. A play-it-safe hairstyle. Not like yours. Yours is, you know, cool, fierce, strong. Yours says, don't fuck with me. Mine says, leave me or I'll tell. Travis, I know what your girlfriend is. I know she's a dragon. Relax. I knew before you brought me into the house. What makes you think that? For one, you're pointing a gun at me for making a statement. Two, I pulled your file. No priors, not even a traffic ticket. You resigned from the IAA the day my ex-husband was killed. Then, you were rehired the day after. Every person close to the Dragon case has ended up dead. And I know for a fact Luis, Johnny K, and Jennifer Watts were your doings. Only a woman would make a man go batshit crazy overnight. And like I said, behind every man is a smart, dangerous woman. You know I have to kill you, right, Mayan? You have to. Your code is just that. But you won't. 
I am the only one connected to keep the FIB off your ass. Because Jason and Beck, they're on your ass. Hence the child welfare knock at the door. In order to protect your girlfriend, you need me. Or both of you will be carted out and executed in front of the city. Okay, but do understand this. The moment things look iffy, I will kill Lionel first so you can watch. And then I will kill you. Because look, my aunt, death doesn't scare me. I wake up next to it every morning. I am prepared to kill everybody on this island or die trying to. I hope I've shown that. Yo te quiero pero déjame No me amas eso se te ve Y si sigues pues a So This is reggaeton Hmm, interesting I like the beat Okay, Miss S, we gotta talk to Mr. S about that Make you Mrs. S But anyways, do you have some moves? Like dance moves? Okay, I can do that See? Palestinians have rhythm too. Hey, hey, hey. Reggae tomb girl. It went well. I showed him the place. He liked it. Hey, I'm coming home to cook now. Ha ha ha. Hey, we don't need those tonight. I want you to enjoy me with no constraints. Every drop. I gotta go. I love you. What the fuck is this? Governor Mayan Zalu? You are under arrest for the murder of your husband and director Luis Diaz. got my iron. Who does? The FIB. They took her. For what exactly, Lionel, did they pick her ass up for? Murder of her ex-husband and that L Louise guy. Oh, sheesh. Well, we'll have to handle that in the morning. I am not waiting until the fucking morning. Well, you don't have a choice, my man. Unless you want to try to burn the whole jail down, she has to be booked. You better get some rest. Wow, matching jammies and, and matching hair too. It looks very beautiful on you, Maha. Someone is settling in just fine. Come see my room, Mr. S. I'll be glad to. 